In this video we will talk about git tags. How can we use it, how can we create it and why do we need such functionality. So git tag, git tag is just a highlighter, we can say it highlighter, it's a text marker which shows some, uh, which can highlight some commit. It doesn't uh, create another commit, it's just uh, additional marker. We can uh, create it with the git tag and version name and the tag name uh, comment and uh, we can push uh, it to the server. So how can we use it and why do we need it? For example, you're developing a software and uh, you finish some uh, period and you have final version on this date. For example, you finished uh, sprint and you have production ready version. So you don't want to mark it as a commit because commit has a SHA-1 name and it's difficult to find out what was the last one and uh, it's difficult to distinguish between other commits. So you can uh, mark it with uh, some name, proper stable name, for example, version 1, version 2, and then you can use it uh, for uh, deploying your software to production. Let's create tag. So let's check its status. Everything is committed. And uh, let's create commit for, let's create tag from this commit. So we can git tag and uh, pass a name, it will be version 1, I will call it. So we created this tag, it's called git status, so nothing was changed and um, if we call common git tag list, we will see that we have one tag and uh, let's call git status git log. And now we see that we have our last commit it's a head and also we had the tag uh, version 1 and now we can uh, pu push this tag to the server. Let's clear it and let's call git push. Right now we will push all changes we had before, all commits and uh, let's check it. And let's check our git. So what do we have here? So in, in git we have all our commits and let's check here in um, commits we have additional tab with tags. Right now we have no tags, so let's push our tags. So we need git push tags. Let's call this command. And now we see that uh, we pushed uh, one tag, v1. Let's refresh it. And here we have this tag v1. What does it mean also? Let's create some new commit. Um, add something, doesn't matter what. Save it. So now we see that uh, head is on the last commit, but uh, here we have this tag one. Using tag one, we can use it for checkout. For example, you need to check out some uh, commit and you don't remember Shay one code. It's difficult to remember it, but you know the version name. So you can call git checkout v1. So here we see that switching to v1. So we switch to this branch. If we want to undo, we can git switch and minus to get back. So right now we can get log and we will see that head is uh, on v1 version. So we got one step behind and now origin and master are in the same, on the same branch. So we can check out uh, by sh1, by commit number, or we can check out by tag name. So this, op this operation might be very useful if you want to mark some stable version of your code and then use it for uh, deploying to production.